Hello guys, uh, so today I'm going to talk to you about resolved words. If you remember in my previous video, I spoke about identifiers and I could say that um, you cannot use a reserved word uh, when naming an identifier. So in this video, I'm going to speak in much more details about reserved words. So reserved words are actually keywords uh, that have a predefined meaning in Java. Uh, so it means that uh, you cannot use these words, uh, any of these words when you are naming, for example, your variable or your method or your class or any other identifier in your code. So if you can look on the screen here, as a comment, I have listed all the reserved words that we have in, in Java, okay? And uh, I'm also going to put uh, these reserved words in the description of the video for, for reference. But what we can um, also remember about reserved words is that in Java, there are actually 51 reserved words, okay? So 51 of words like this that are actually reserved, that actually have predefined meaning in Java, okay? And out of uh, the 51, you have uh, 49 of these words that uh, are actually used in your code. Like you definitely come to a point where you would need to type um, these words in your code and these words would uh, execute a very specific function uh, already predefined by uh, Java programming language. And uh, so 49 and two other uh, reserved words that I have put down here, the go to and the const reserved words are unused in your code. They are reserved words and uh, but they do not have a function so you won't be typing them in your code they won't be uh, you won't necessarily need these words for you to execute a certain function in your code but you can't use them as a variable or when you are naming a class or, um, or a method in your code they are reserved and they do not have any function so you don't necessarily need to memorize uh, all these keywords since uh, uh, due to the special functions in the Java programming language, most IDEs like Eclipse that we are using uh, right now or NetBeans, uh, all these IDEs, they use uh, special syntax highlighting to display keywords uh, using a different color, you know, in order to identify these keywords very easily. For example, if you can look at my code here, you have these words that are, uh, that have uh, that brown color, like import, public, class, static, new, uh, public, static, void, boolean, int, byte, if, and else here. All these words are reserved words they are keywords okay i have them in my list if you can go through my list here so you see that in my ide they all have the same color they have the brown color here so this is the way uh, for the ide to tell me or to tell whoever is uh, writing a program that these words are actually reserved you cannot use them uh, when you want to declare your variable or you want to uh, name your class or when you want to um, maybe name your method. So let me take, for example, uh, for example, if you want to name, you want to create a class and you want to give it the name public, for example. You go to file, you come to new here, you click on class. So you, here you want to create a new class. So if you want to give it a name, a name to your class, 
you will see that it's not going to peak. Okay, you won't be able to uh, create the class or the ID won't be uh, letting you creating the class if you type a name that is similar to a reserved word in Java. For example, I would take import, for example, you see that it's writing type name is not valid. The type name, type name import is not a valid identifier. So you see that there is an error and you can't also finish or you can also click on finish here in order for your ID to create that class simply because uh, import is a reserved word. For example, if, for example, if you write, uh, let me say import yes okay importance for example so you see here importance it's picking it so you can still create click on finish because importance is not a reserved word it's not a key word so it's it's the same thing for example if you want to name your class static you see you will still get the same uh, message telling you that static is not valid it's not valid for uh it's not a valid identifier simply because it is um a reserved word in java for, and uh, for example if i say okay um, i want to declare a variable uh instead of um age i'm gonna call that variable um uh, case you see you have a syntax error it's saying syntax error on token case invalid variable declarator because here in my list of reserved words i have the word case here so that's why i cannot be allowed to write that word case as a variable in my code so if you want to use uh, a word that is reserved in your code your ide will definitely prompt an error message to you telling you that the word you want to use is not valid because it's already predefined it has a predefined function it's a word that is already reserved in the java programming language so all these words, they have that uh, brown uh, color here, you know, import, public, class, static, and, and all of this. So this is actually uh, it. So you have the list here, uh, the list of these words. So if uh, we can discuss about uh, some of the functions of some of these words. For example, the abstract here, it has a predefined function. Uh, when you write abstract in your code, when you see abstract, what it means is that it specifies that, uh, that a class or a method will be implemented later in a subclass. So, you know, in, in uh, coming videos, we will talk about this abstract and know exactly when uh, that word is going to be used. And for example, the word Boolean here is a data type, okay? It's a data type that can hold uh, true or false values only, okay? And you have um, the break, break word here. One of its function in the code is to control. Uh, it's a control statement for breaking out of loops okay so you see the, if you have uh, a loop and you want to uh, break out of the loop you definitely use the the break uh, reserved word the um, the reserved word byte here is also a data type uh, that can hold 8-bit data values you know the case is used uh, uh, in the case uh, of switch statement uh, to mark blocks of uh, of text, you know you, we have switch case uh, 
uh, loop. So in the coming videos, we also discuss about, uh, about that. For example, the, the health, you have the word health here. It's also for the loop. We, we used it here. For example, if you do a NIF statement, for example, we say if age is less than 18, it's in upper health. So that word health is also uh, a reserved word. Okay, so it's reserved. It indicates an alternative uh, in an if statement. Okay, so uh, you also have the word, uh, for example, extends. So extends, it, it indicates that a class is actually derived from another class or from another interface. So this is this will come Andy when we will uh, talk about uh, uh, um, uh, classes and subclasses, heritage, you know, in uh, in uh, Java programming language. So you have the word like float here. You have float. Float is also uh, a data type. This is when you declare a variable, you need to specify a data type, for example. And uh, if you say float as data type, uh, so it's a kind of data type that holds uh, a 32 bit uh, floating point number. And um, the four here is also used for, for the for loop. You know, it's used to start a, a for loop. And um, so the word implements here is also reserved. So you have if just before this is for the if uh, statement, the if uh, uh, statement like we have here. And the implement is also a word that has a function of specifying that a class implement is implementing uh, an interface. This is also uh, some topics that we will discuss uh, later on. You have the import, you know, import is, uh, it's used, its function is to make reference to other, other classes, okay? For example, we have the import here, you know, uh, it's a reserved word, like you can see the color. So we put this import because we are using uh, this statement here, this is for input, if you want to input uh, uh, some values uh, in your code. But we we're going to talk about this uh, in a coming video. And uh, you have uh, another word, for example, you have int, int here is also a data type, you know, it's for a data type that for integer values. Um, we use uh, in your code. Uh, you have uh, like another word. Um, um, so you have uh, the word new here. This is also used in Java uh, to create new objects. Okay, we will see how to create objects and, and declare them. The, the word new has that specific function of creating new objects. The, the word return is, uh, it, it sends, its function is to send uh, control and uh, is to also possibly return uh, a value back from a called method. Okay, so if you declare a method, and uh, and you want that method to return a value, so you use this keyword return. So these are actually, uh, for example, this this word this is also a reserved word. Its function is to refer to the current object in a method or a constructor. And so when you use this, it's actually referring to the the, the object that is being used in a particular method or in a particular uh, 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 constructor. The word throw here is for, uh, for 
exceptions you know we're also going to talk about that and uh, we have the while here is also used for uh, to start a while loop okay and uh, these two that i have put here go to and const are reserved words but they are not used actually in the code so they, you will not find them in the code but they are actually reserved so that means that you can use these words even though uh, they don't have specific function in 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 your in a code in java but you can't also use them uh, as when you are, want to name your variable or your method or your class okay so for example the the keyword const uh, is is used to define constants you know uh, variables that are constant um, actually const uh, is for that purpose but instead of writing const uh, you would definitely write uh, final okay final here it plays the same role so you will not write const you will definitely write if you want to declare a constant uh, a variable that will be constant throughout your project you will not give it a, a data type of uh, const you definitely uh, give it a data type of final since it plays the same role and go to is also reserved but you won't be using it in the code since it does not have a specific it does not have a function as per se and uh, here i have put uh, three words that are not actually reserved words but um, but you can't also use them like when you are naming your variable or your or your or your your method or your class okay so these are actually they are reserved words but for literal values okay so that's actually what i can say about uh, reserved words and like i said there's no need to re memorize all these words since uh, if you code using an ide and uh, it will surely prompt an error message uh, if you use them to declare a variable or a method or when you want to name your class the ID will prompt a error message saying that you can't use that. Uh, the word that you have chosen is actually not valid. So this is actually it concerning um, reserve words. And I hope this video has been informative. And uh, let's uh, meet in the next video. Bye.